Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the reaction between an acid and a base, an alkali or a metal carbonate. You should then be able to predict the products of a neutralisation reaction. In the last video we saw that bases are chemicals which can neutralise acids and produce a salt and water. Bases which are soluble in water are also called alkalis. So for example copper oxide, iron 3 hydroxide and sodium hydroxide are all bases. Because copper oxide and iron 3 hydroxide cannot dissolve in water, in other words they're insoluble, these are bases only. However sodium hydroxide can be dissolved in water, in other words it's soluble. This means that sodium hydroxide can be an alkali as well as a base. So in this video we're looking at the reactions of acids with bases, alkalis and metal carbonates. We're going to start with bases and alkalis. Here's the first key fact. When we react an acid with either a base or an alkali, we make a salt and water. Here's an example. We're reacting hydrochloric acid with the base copper oxide. We're making the salt copper chloride and water. Here's hydrochloric acid reacting with the alkali sodium hydroxide. And again, we're making a salt and water. In this case, the salt is sodium chloride. Now in the exam, you could be asked to identify the salt from a neutralization reaction. So we're going to look at that now. Salts contain a positive ion, and that comes from the base or from the alkali. Salts also contain a negative ion, and that comes from the acid. So you need to learn the negative ions produced by the three acids that we use most often in chemistry. Hydrochloric acid produces chlorides. Sulfuric acid produces sulfates. And nitric acid produces nitrates. Here's a question for you to try. Predict the products of the following reaction. Sulfuric acid plus zinc oxide. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, well in the base zinc oxide, the positive ion is the metal zinc. We know that sulfuric acid produces sulfates, so that means that our products are the salt, zinc sulfate and water. Here's another question for you to try. Predict the product of the following reaction. Nitric acid plus the alkali lithium hydroxide. Pause the video and try this yourself. So in the alkali lithium hydroxide, the positive ion is the metal lithium. We know that nitric acid produces nitrates, so that means that our products must be the salt, lithium nitrate and water. So we've seen how bases and alkalis react with acids, but there's another group of chemicals that react with acids to produce salts, and these are called metal carbonates. I'm showing you three of these here. We've got sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate and potassium carbonate. You'll notice that each of these contain a metal ion, in this case sodium, calcium and potassium. Now when acids react with a metal carbonate, they make a salt and water, but they also make carbon dioxide. So I'm showing you here all of these metal carbonates reacting with hydrochloric acid. And in each case you can see that we're making a salt, water and carbon dioxide. It's really important that you learn the reaction between an acid and a metal carbonate, as it frequently comes up in the exam. Here's a sample question. Predict the product of the reaction between hydrochloric acid and copper carbonate. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, the metal ion in this case is the copper ion in the copper carbonate and we're reacting this with hydrochloric acid. So the salt is going to be copper chloride. Because we're starting with a metal carbonate, we're also going to make water and carbon dioxide gas. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the reactions of acids with bases, alkalis and metal carbonates in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the reaction between an acid and a base, an alkali or a metal carbonate. You should then be able to predict the products of a neutralization reaction. 